Good morning. It is fantastic Friday, June 27th on the Daily Echo. I said yesterday I'd talk a little bit about marriage. My nephew Denver and his uh, wife-to-be Taylor will be getting married tomorrow, and we're excited for that. And I think of an analogy in sports. Um, growing up in sports, and those of you that have played sports have heard the uh, statement, you've got to pay the price. And we hear that all of the time. You know, you got to pay the price to get good grades. You've got to pay the price to have a good marriage. You've got to pay the price to, uh, to, to get strong, to put muscles on. And I was thinking about this um, years ago. I was challenged to run in a half marathon. And, and those that know me know I, I dislike running about as much as anything when it comes to, to um, um, sports or fitness. I don't mind running shorter distance, but not the long distances. And as I began to do this, I only had a few months to prepare. I remember getting up early in the morning and going out and running a mile or two. And it, it was just miserable. My feet hurt. My lungs hurt. It just There was nothing fun about it. And uh, I kept thinking of this, you know, Eric, you got to pay the price. You got to pay the price to get this done. And I recall about eight weeks into this whole ordeal that I was running. It was a Saturday morning and it was just beautiful weather. And my feet were flowing underneath me very smoothly. My, I, I was not laboring at all to breathe. I was actually enjoying this activity that for so long I thought I had been paying the price and how difficult it was. And it made me really think at that point that in life we never pay the price for something that is good. We don't pay the price for a good marriage. We enjoy the benefits of that love and that compassion and rearing kids if we have children in our home and that love continuing to grow stronger. You know, we pay the price for a bad marriage uh, through divorce or fighting and people just being miserable for, for years of their life. We don't pay the price for good health. Uh, we enjoy the benefits of good health. We pay the price when we don't eat good and we don't exercise and we deal with diabetes, we deal with cancers, we deal with high blood pressure and cholesterol. All of these areas in life that we actually think we pay the price, we're fooling ourselves. We are actually enjoying the benefits of those activities. So the next time you think in your life that, you're, that it's difficult and I'm paying the price to get something, I'm in school and in study and I'm paying the price to get this grade or get this degree, Understand the benefits that you are going to receive from this. We never pay the price for anything good. We only pay the price for things that we don't do, for not uh, living up to the commitments that we have, for not um, nurturing those relationships that we have. So in marriage, um, that's my message today. Also, a side note on that, I've noticed that a lot of people tend to spend a lot more time planning the wedding than they do planning the marriage. And I think that's something important. I had patients that uh, had been together for years and they finally decided to get married and they spent 12 months planning this extravagant wedding without much thought on planning the rest of their lives as a couple. And the wedding came and it was beautiful. It was great. And lo and behold, nine months later, they were separated and about a year later divorced. It's very important that we plan the important things. The wedding is wonderful. It's great. It's a great celebration. But make sure that in our lives, those of us that are married, that we're planning that, that marriage every week, that we're planning that we're doing good things for our spouses, that we're making them the center of our attention so that that love will continue to cultivate and grow. We talked about love being a verb a while back. It's an action word. It's a service word. It's not a selfish word. Have a fantastic Friday. We'll be talking to you again tomorrow. Uh, get excited. In a few days, we're bringing you the book of the month for July. As always, thanks for taking time. You gotta live and learn. You gotta crash and burn. You gotta make some stances and take some chances. You gotta.